Welcome to Anatomy of a Scene, where we will dive into crafting the perfect story piece by piece. My name is Andrew, and I tell stories through editing, color grading, and sound design. And today, we are going to set ourselves up for success. Before we even start assembling an edit, we need to do one important thing. I'm in Premiere Pro right now, and this is the software that I'm going to be using to edit this scene. And then later when I get to the sound editing and color grading, I'm going to jump into DaVinci Resolve. But please remember as an editor, you can use any software that you prefer. You can use Avid, Sony Vegas, Final Cut. Just remember that all editing principles stay the same. And the most important thing is story. And talking about story, what I need to do before I even start organizing and syncing my footage is to read the script and have a conversation with the director. It's really important to understand the vision that they intend for, in our context, scene nine from the movie Thief. The way I like to organize myself is by using folders. Folders are really important. They will be your best friend later during the edit. So I've created a folder called scene nine. And within that folder, I have two additional folders, one which is going to house the footage and the second one is going to house all the sound. One thing I like to do before I even start editing is look at the attributes of all the clips. So I can see right here that the footage was shot in 23.976 frames per second and I can see different resolutions. A couple are shot in 6K, others are shot in 8K. Final video is going to be in 4K. So what I need to do now is to create another folder which is going to house all my timelines, the timelines that I'm going to be working with. So I'll go to File, New Bin, then I'm gonna label these timelines. And to create a new sequence or timeline, I go to File, New Sequence, and then it's going to pop up this window. And since we're going to customize it, we're going to go to Settings, I'm going to make sure that the time base matches 23.976. Click that. And in terms of the dimensions, I'm going to create a 4K timeline, which is 3840 by 2160. And that's a 16 by 9 timeline. Um, everything else looks good. And then I'm going to name this sequence C9 synced. So now that we've created our 4K timeline, it's time to start syncing all the footage. So I'm just going to drag a clip from the project window and drag it into the timeline. And it's brought a pop-up window which says that the clip doesn't match the sequences settings. This is because the clip that we've dragged into our timeline has an 8K resolution and our timeline is a 4K resolution timeline. But uh, for now, since we want to maintain the 4K resolution, we're going to keep the existing settings. So I'm just going to click that. You can select the clip, right click, set to frame size, and the 8K resolution clip is going to conform into the 4K dimensions in our timeline. So I'm going to select the matching audio for this particular take. Just going to drag it in the timeline. So I'm going to select all the clips. Go to synchronize. So it's going to sync using the waveforms in our files. And then I press OK. And as you can see, the audio clip just moved into where it's supposed to be. So right now it is synced. I'm gonna mute that, and then click play. That's what we used to call you back in the day. All right, that looks synced. And what I want to do now is to show you how I can now sync all the clips from the first take to the last take, drag them into our timeline, and I'm going to ignore this for now, so I'll keep the existing settings. I'm going to select all the clips, set them to the frame size because they're different dimensions, so we need to conform them to the OK timeline. And since everything is arranged according to how it was shot during the day, 
that goes for sound so i'm going to just arrange them where they need to be one by one i have managed to sync all the clips 30 minutes worth of content i've been able to do it in under a minute and this is the most amazing thing about the synchronize feature in your software it's very efficient and it saves you time, a lot of time. If I were to do this manually, it would have probably taken me six, seven to eight minutes. So the next step that I like to do is to merge the clips. And what I mean by merging is that right now, the clips as they are, they are separated because we have the video, which has scratch audio, and we have the correct audio, which we want to link our video to. So I'm going to Go to my timeline folder, uh, select the C9 synced timeline, right click, duplicate, and then rename this to merging clips. So I'm going to double click on that. And as you can see in my timelines, I have uh, two timelines. So I have the synced one and I have the one that I'm going to start merging the clips. So I'm going to deselect the the links so that i can just click on the video and the audio is going to be separate and then i'm going to select all the scratch audio delete them and then select the good audio without moving them left or right so that they stay synced and then move them up into the first track so I'm going to start merging from the left, moving right. I'm going to select the video and the audio, right click, and then go to merge clips. Then it's going to bring a pop-up window. And what this allows you to do is to link the video and the audio together. And it also allows you to rename the clip that you're going to create into that particular take. For instance, this is scene 9, slate 40, take 1. And then when I press OK, in my project window, it's going to create one clip, which I have renamed into scene 9, slate 40, take 1. So what this allows you to do is it kind of ups the level on your organization you are able to visually see which scene it is, which slate, and which take it actually is. So this is going to help us later during the edit when you sit down with your director, cause he might remember, hmm, I remember something that happened in take three. So it's going to be easy to locate that particular take. Cause right now as they are in our synced timeline, it's just, the video clip the way it's recorded by the camera so visually we can't be able to tell which take it actually is so by merging the clips it allows it to be easy to locate a particular take or a particular instance that might be referred to by the director or the script supervisor so that's why i match the clips so this match clip i'm going to put it in a separate folder remember organization and then i'm going to call this scene 9 merged clips and then drag it into scene 9 so i'm going to do the rest of the clips and then we'll be right back cool i've finished merging the clips and as you can see in my project window inside the merged clips folder Everything is well labeled in terms of the scene, the slate number and the take number as well. So it's going to be easy for us to reference whenever the director or the script supervisor mentions something that happened in a particular take. It'll be very easy for you to locate, uh, you know, what, what the director is talking about. So that is really important, merging your clips before we even start editing, because right now we are laying our foundation. We're trying to make our things way, way easier uh, during the post-production process so that we don't have to go, you know, looking for stuff all the time. So right now I can say that we are ready to start the edit, but that's going to be in the next video.
Now that we have organized and synced our footage, we are ready for the next step. And the next step is the first assembly, something which I like to call the vomit draft. This is something which is raw, not polished, just focuses on the dialogue as it is in the script. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I drop the next one. Peace.